at least the third time in the last couple of months, an undercover operation involving Hillsborough County deputies nearly turning deadly. ABC Action News reporter Maricela Burgos pressing authorities on why they opened fire in a Home Depot parking lot last night. Maricela. For some reason, the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office at this point is not releasing any new information. I have asked them over and over again for new details. I can tell you, though, that this shooting happened right behind me in this parking lot about 40 minutes before the store closed. Commotion in the Home Depot parking lot. As we walked out of the Home Depot, you know, we can hear him yelling, get on the ground, get on the ground. And then at that point, pop pow. Don Pittman shots. says he heard two shots Tuesday night. When the shooting started, we ducked and ran back into the place because we didn't know where the bullets was coming from. Hillsborough County deputies say their undercover detectives were there to buy an illegal gun from a man and a woman. ABC Action News has been following the sheriff's office efforts for months. Similar and dangerous scenarios, trying to get illegal guns from criminals off the streets. We didn't know if they were shooting back and forth or whatever was going on, but at that point, everybody ran back in the store to try to figure out what was going on. This woman is trying to figure out what happened last night, too. She says her son and his girlfriend are the ones deputy shot. He didn't have any guns, but I don't know. Everybody's just giving bits and pieces. You know, I am straightforward. I don't need to lie or anything like that. Deputies have not released the names of the two people involved. They were taken to the hospital. Cynthia Cantillo says she hasn't been able to see her son. As a mother, I just want to know how my son is doing. I'm just in the limbo. There were two deputies involved in last night's shooting, and I can tell you that no deputies were injured. Reporting live, Maricela Burgos, ABC Action News.